Hey, what is going on, Flavor Crew? And welcome back to another edition of Lisa Renee TV. So if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, of course, hit the subscribe button and also click the thumbs up button. Yes, 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 yes. And please make sure you share the video on all your social media platforms that you're on. Okay, guys, so welcome back and happy Sunday. Yes. <laughs> anywho, anywho, let's get right down into the video. Um, okay, so this video is basically like, it's like an update um, slash, uh, I hope it doesn't get overly ranty or overly venty, but if it does, bear with me. Bear with me, my loves. <laughs> you know me. But anyway, it's just an update on like me and my single season. And, you know, things I've observed and, um, you know, and things I'm currently going through and, you know, things of that nature. Anywho, because some of you may be going through the same thing. So, you know, maybe we kind of help each other out a little bit, you know. Anyway, so, <laughs> so uh, the issue I've been dealing with, like, majorly, I would say, are just, like, the issue of counterfeits. Um, I'll explain to you that term for some of you are like, what? <laughs> we, we ain't talking about money, okay? We talk about counterfeit people, counterfeit men, um, more specifically. Um, I mentioned this term like probably several times before in other videos that you probably watched. If you haven't, um, definitely go watch some of my dating videos and you'll be able to you, you'll hit that term counterfeits. Counterfeits just refers to just a man who's not the one that God made for you. That's all it means. It's just it's just the randoms. That's all they are. Just the men who kind of come along our pathway, ladies, and, you know, holler at you to talk to you. And, and maybe he's a guy that you may talk to for a period of time, but no, it doesn't go anywhere because it really wasn't meant to. He's just, yeah, it's a counterfeit. Like, he he's counterfeit because he appears he looks like the real thing, but he's not. Yeah. So, I'm done with that issue. So, there's this guy... Um, whom he actually works in the same building that I work at. Um, and he shall remain nameless. <laughs> you know, of course. <laughs> Conflict of interest. <laughs> can't, be, can't be revealing names. But anyway, yeah, so he works within the same building that I work at, but not in my in, not in my particular job, but just in the same building. I think he, I don't know if he does, like, security or janitorial or something like that, um, because he wears, like, a, the color of the, of the suit that he wears is dark, so I can't tell. Anyway, because they all wear the same colors. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, it's it, it's it's so weird because, like, we and men who knew each other, like, back in college. And it was so strange for me to see him again, like, there at, you know, the place where I worked, the building I worked. So we spoke and, you know, caught him. This was a few months ago when I first discovered he was working there. So we, we chatted and everything. And then one night... Um, me and my friend, and we were like going, taking a break to go, uh, to go, uh, go next door to Claire's. Okay, so he catches me, and he's like, um, "Hey, so how how things been going with work?" And yeah, I was like, "Oh, everything's good." And he's like, "What about your your art? You know, I, you are, um, you know, you can't can't." Uh, He's talking about you, uh, that's your passion. You can't stop doing your passion. And I said, oh, I said, well, you know, as you mentioned it, yeah, I mean, I got my vlog show I'm working on and everything, you know. And he's like, oh, that's amazing. And, um, he went in to telling me about he's doing, um, he majored in, uh, I think, animation, film and video animation and um he's working on having his own entertainment company right now and you know so we got to chatting and everything and he was saying he got off at 10 o'clock that night i got off at nine so um he asked me something about my uh facebook information or so or something that somebody hit me up or something and so i gave him my facebook uh name to hit me up Okay, so later on, I got off my shift, and it was so funny, because when I went, we were headed back upstairs, me and my girl, she was like, oh, now we kind of like it, like, oh, oh, why I'm interested in Lisa, I see, I was like, I was like, what, you know, because it was funny, because I didn't really know if he was interested like that at work, because he mentioned me editing a, a film script or something for him, so I thought it was maybe a business thing, you know, so I, but I kind of was feeling maybe he was liking me too, so I was like, I don't know, <laughs> but I was like, well, all right, I'm flattered. <laughs> Anywho, so later that night, you know, we get to chatting it up more so when I got off work, and he's like, 
doing a lot of talking. He seemed really like happy and into me. And he's like, yeah, you know, we should um, definitely, you know, rendezvous and, you know, we'll meet up and, and, you know, talk about all the possibilities. And, you know, he was just like, you know how guys do the fist bump thing? Like he kept fist bumping and, you know, he's like, this, I'm sorry, this is one of my things. I know it crews women out, but that's just something I do, you know, and he's like being really jovial and I don't know. He's like, he said, I'm just happy. I'm just happy about, you know, seeing you again and all the possibilities and, you know, all, and he said all this stuff. And I mean, what girl wouldn't think that he was, you know, really into her. I was like, at first I was confused. And I was like, well, maybe not. But then he ended up mentioning my best friend because she does poetry. And he mentioned like how dope she was and, you know, he saw some of her shows she's done. I'm like, oh, okay. And he was saying, we should all hang out. And so I was like, oh, okay, that's a good idea. Then he mentioned me and me, me and just me and him alone hanging out. And I'm like, oh, okay. You know, he's saying going for drinks or something like that. And I'm like, okay, sounds good. Now, Gospel Fest was going on at that time. So he was like, yeah, you know, and this is a few months ago when this happened. This is like back in May, maybe late May early June, he's like, yeah, you know, we should uh, uh, maybe go to Gospel Fest or whatever, you know, Gospel Fest is going on this week. I'm like, oh, okay, that'd be cool. You know, so I'm thinking everything is 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 so cool. And he was saying he remember how I was back when we were in college. Because in college, we worked together as well. We worked in um, computer labs together. And he was like, you were always so sweet and nice and everything. And, you know, he just was so into me, you know. <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh, well, thank you. I'm just sitting there flattered, you know. And he was, he had mentioned like in the beginning of the conversation, he mentioned it again about me editing the paper. And he was like, well, I'd rather have you do it because I know you're professional and all. And I'm like, oh, all right. I'm like, okay. You know, and he was asking me, did I charge a fee? Do I charge people fees to do it? You know, and I'm like, well, I don't know. I've never really, you know, done that before. I never charge a fee, but we talk about it. But he just said he really was into me. And, you know, we had, he said, what's the best way to get in, in contact with me? So I went ahead and gave my number. I thought that was his cute way of trying to get my number. You know, so I'm like, okay. Maybe he's shy to ask. He's a little shy, so I'm going to help him out. I'm going to go ahead. I said, well, I gave you my number. I gave my number and my email address. Okay, so he, he said several times, several times that he would call. He would call me that week or that weekend. So the weekend comes, he does not call. I don't hear from him at all. No email, no phone call, nothing. My email come right to my phone, so you know I'm going to get it. I get a little buzz. I know somebody emailed me. No, I don't hear from him at all. He sees me that Tuesday or Wednesday at work when I come in, and he's like, hello, how are you? Dry as hell. <laughs> so I thought maybe he's trying to keep it professional, you know. I said, well, maybe he's just trying to keep it, you know, cordial. I'm like, oh, hey, you know, I'm more friendly with mine. And he's like, yeah, hello, how are you? I'm like, okay. What happened to the, you know, what happened to who he was on Friday? Because he, he's, he's a different man today, okay? It's like we never had a conversation. You know, then later on, I think he said he would, he would call or whatever. And I just never heard from him, so we kind of just went on. Next time um, I see him, he is in front of, like, another security guard there, another guy. So they chatting it up or whatever, and I'm like, I guess they're buddies. So he's chatting it up with him, and all of a sudden he sees me. He's like, hey, how are you doing? So he comes over to me, walks over, you know, see how I'm doing or whatever. I'm getting ready to walk out the door. All of a sudden he yells out, oh, all right, good night. Um, I'll give you a ring later. Now, I, you know, I know men like to, sh you know, kind of show out in front of other guys, you know. You know how it is, the camaraderie with the boys. So I was like, now that was all for show. Because did I hear from him? Hell no, I didn't hear from him. I'm like, you just did that so you could look cool in front of that dude. You just used me as a prop. I'm like, I was just a prop for your ego. Like, you won. I mean, you bastard. So then he come telling me, like, when I saw him again that Tuesday when I came back in for work, he's like, oh, yeah, um, I'm, you know, I'm sorry about that. I lost your number. I, I the paper you gave me that you wrote it down on, I, I didn't save it in my phone. I should have saved it. That's another red flag to me that went off. Cause I was like, why didn't you ever save it? It was, you know, was I not relevant enough for you to save it? You know, that's what I was thinking. So I was like, okay, it's fine. So he asked me for my number again. So he puts it in his phone. Finally, he when I hear from him the next week, he texts me. But the text is real dry. He's like, hey, how are you? Um, maybe we should get coffee sometime. And I'm like. Okay, I'm like, all right, well, I'll check my schedule. You know, I'm like, okay, sounds good, but I never really got back to him on it. So then, well, I've been dealing with the past few couple of weeks. Past, I said past few couple. <laughs> past few weeks. <laughs> past few weeks is just him basically kind of bugging me about this whole coffee thing. It's been a merry-go-round with him, but, like, you know, 
he's like, yeah, I gotta get in touch with you or whatever. What, what, what's your schedule gonna be like? And you know, are you gonna be um free? Like, it, it's really all just for sure. Well, I'll call you. And like last time, I uh he said something to me it was like a few days ago, and it was in front of another male security guard. And that's how I knew what he was doing. I knew that he tried to use me for you know ego boost. He's like, yeah. Um, he just stopped his whole conversation with the guy. Hey, Lisa, what, uh, how you doing? Um, yeah. Um, sorry, I couldn't get to you. Um, thank you for your patience. Uh, yeah. So you know we we're gonna do the coffee thing. I know it's the holiday weekend. Um, but so this is not a good week. But you know next week, you know, uh, will you think you'd be free? Oh, okay, all right. Okay, I I talk to you. Bullshit, you know, <laughs> you know, you saw that, you see this, you know. So that's the issue I've been dealing with, basically. So now he said he do this. My response, I'm very, I'm just real, like I'm like nice but dry, you know. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm like, alright, let me know, and I just keep moving because I can I see through it, you know. At this point, I think at one point I thought it was gonna be some, you know, at first, but after that. It, you know, it became apparent clearly this guy is not that interested, you know, for whatever reason. You know, he, I think he's on the thrill of the chase, you know, which is what my work friends were saying. Like, yeah, he, he's just on the thrill of the chase. This is not really, you know, what you think it is. You know, I'm like, okay, it, it's just not it's not going anywhere, you know. I was talking to my best friend about it. She's like, yeah, this sounds like more of a goof off, a send off. Like it's really not what, what where you want it to be, and I think I was really depressed about it at first. Like not super depressed, but just more so let down because I was thinking, damn. I think I'm gonna be honest. When I first saw him that night, I thought, oh my god, have I met my soulmate? And y'all may think that sound crazy, but I thought it sounded, you know, good because, you know. I did, you know, because I've been so into this soulmate thing and, you know, your soulmate finding you and, you know, I've been so focused on me and getting me together and, you know, the husband find a wife, he find a wife, find a good thing. And I thought, wow, you know, I thought, you know, well, and also something else I heard that a lot of times your soulmate, you already met him or somebody you already knew or whatever. I said, oh, we went to school together. Okay. You know, like. He now he work where I work, and all of a sudden we talking, and you know I said, I mean that was the perfect situation. You can't tell me I was nuts so for thinking that was his old me. I mean I thought he was, I, I did, I did, you know, sorry, I did, <laughs> you know. So yeah, and yeah, you know, so I I got duped, you know. I thought he was his old me, and apparently he wasn't. And so for me, I've been just kind of dealing with that issue, of uh, just the counterfeit situation. Um, my emotions about, about that, like, you just, you, you getting, I'm getting tangled up, you know, um, in apparently webs of lies, <laughs> you know, and it can be just kind of, it's just frustrating as hell. It, it, it is, you know, because you, you know, you get to these situations and the person appears to be everything you ever dreamed of, everything you ever wanted. And you like, okay, this, this is not, this this is definitely not, you know, what I thought it was going to be, you know. So, you know, like, where, where do I go, you know, from here at this point, you know. So, yeah, I'm actually going to do, because um, I don't want this video to get too, too long. I'm going to do a part two to this. So, yeah, because it's getting too long. So, yeah, <laughs> catch the rest of this in part two. <laughs> I'm going to stop it right here, though. But thanks, guys, for listening and just check out part two.